What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to the second episode of I'm Standing on a Million Lives. This one's titled The City I Hate So Much. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Uh, we've got another isekai, of course. Uh, well established by now. And I want to like it. It's doing some unique elements that are somewhat interesting. The idea of a farmer class is interesting. I can't want to see what they want to do with that because... I feel like they want to do something with that. I don't think it's just so our main guy is underpowered. I feel like there's something special that can be done with the farmer class that they're just going to slowly build up to and he's going to have a revelation about as he levels. Because uh, right now, he has a decent strength, but because of the modifier that applies to all the farmer class items he has, um, he loses, what, 50% of his strength? Or, yeah, so his strength is halved when fighting anything that isn't a plant. So, essentially, he becomes just a normal 100% strength character. Um, so, ultimately, there's nothing really special about him. He's just a normal character with above-average strength against plants. Um, which I feel like has some uses in some way. Like, they wouldn't give him the farmer class... I know it was a random selection. But the farmer class must have something to it. And I'm holding out to see what they want to do with that. So that's part of the reason why I'm still interested in the show. The, the one thing that is turning me away from the show so far after that first episode is his attitude. I like an MC that isn't necessarily all for saving the world, is, isn't exactly happy in the situation he's in. But the way he was acting at the end of the first episode seemed overly forced. Like, it seemed like there wasn't enough context to be given as to why he had the attitude he did. It's like... Okay, are you just... Why are we saying that? Are we just saying that to establish that the character is like that? Or is there actually a reason why he is this hateful of both the real world and this world all of a sudden? It just seemed a bit too forced. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe that uh, this episode you might explain that a little more. Get a bit more into the... A uh, little more into the uh, mindset of why he's like this what he's going through to make him be like this. I feel like I need that in order to... Um, I need that if I'm going to really understand and actually appreciate uh, what they're trying to do here. Uh, is this a... No, this is only a 12 episode. Okay, I thought for a second it might be a 24, but no, it's not a 24. So I'm hoping... Bit more development on our MC this episode. He's going leveling uh, at the end of that last episode. We've got the two companions that we were here with and came before. We've got, uh, what was it, a wind mage and a uh, like a fighter soldier class who is useless and threw her weapon rather than actually swinging with it. Fantastic. Um, but he did manage to eventually kill, what was it, like a goblin or two? Maybe multiples. But I think he used the fact that he could die and respawn as long as the others were alive, like, as long as all of them, as long as one of them is alive, they can come back after, was it 30 seconds was the cooldown, I think it was, before they could come back. But the one girl, the wind mage girl, what was her name? Uh, was it Shindo-san? Yeah, Shindo. Uh, she's currently been eaten by a troll? Was it a troll that was the first enemy? Let me see if I can find it. Was do they call it a troll? Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Need to avoid that. Let's see. Yeah, here comes the big bad. Yeah, it's... Or is it just an orc? I don't even know what they called this. It probably said in the episode that it's going to take too long, but yeah, she got eaten by that monster. Uh, and we were like, okay, she's going to respawn, right? But then we figured out that our other girl who lost uh, her hand and a bit of her arm, that wasn't regenerating. Implying that by being eaten by said monster those parts can't regenerate, and if she was eaten and her head torn off, she can't regenerate. So, his plan is to have Soldier Girl stay in the village, 
and he can just go train because as long as he's as long as she's alive, he basically is immortal. Well, not immortal. He's he can never be truly killed. He will just fall down. Thirty seconds later, he'll just be back up and fighting again. So I think that's his. I think that's his plan to utilize that. I wonder how much death is a pain in this world because this is something we explored in ReZero, the idea of being able to die and come back, die and come back, die and come back, and how it affects your psyche. So I wonder if this is going to do a similar thing with that. Because I think that's probably the main comparison it would make is to ReZero in if they're going to start exploring the immortality, death and respawning situation he has and it, whether he's going to take it any differently than Subaru, for example. I've, that's going to be an interesting point that I would like to uh, follow as this series goes on if I continue this series. That's definitely the major question. But we'll give it a go as per usual. So... With that said, uh, we're going to start the episode here. In the bottom left of the screen down here, you're going to see the time of the episode. I'll count you down 3, 2, 1, play. And then I'll play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. Uh, we're watching this one on Crunchyroll, so Crunchyroll link is in the description. Uh, no logos or anything to begin, we'll just be straight into the episode. Um, you can use screen flash as well to see when scenes transition, so that will help you sync up a little bit as well. So... Without further ado, let's get into episode 2, shall we? Uh, the city I hate so much. So I'm hoping we're going to get some actual development here. In 3, 2, 1, play. Establishing shots. He's off training, alone. Oh no, we're flashing back, okay. Uh, does he need it anymore? Science and tech, interesting. Ah. Pharmaceuticals, okay. Research, okay. Hmm. Was that him feigning interest? Okay, OP time. Yeah, we did get this OP. This is... If I remember correctly, this was not a very good OP. Like, musically, it's not bad, but... The actual animation is very simple. And there's our deity game master thing. Very creepy. Right, we do have other characters introduced because we have a certain goal that we have to clear. And I think the monster that killed our other girl incapacitated the other one. I think that is our target. And if we, we have to clear that at a certain point before... Um, and every time we clear a goal, we get a new character up to 10 total, if I remember correctly. It's even 9 or 10 total, something like that. Anyway, here we go. He's off training. Yep, finding goblins with his broken weapons. Yes, troll. Okay, I was correct with troll. No chance. Yep. Just bit her in pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sound thinking. Huh. Hmm. I would be very distrustful of it. Oh, right, no, this is the story things. Ah. Oh. Oh.
<laughs> I mean... I can't dispute much of it. Oh? Oh. Oh. Absolute muppet. <laughs> um, one of them is dead currently. Let's just whatever motivates him. <laughs> whatever motivates you to kill goblins, I guess. Hmm. Aha! Back to his old life. Again, what is causing him to be this hateful? Okay, back to happier times, playing with friends. What happened? Bullied, okay. That's what I'm inferring from that, I guess. <laughs> Rank 9, okay. Probably not. I think you are, unless you can multi-class. Yeah. Oh, shit. Don't get yourself killed now. Oh, the village was attacked. Oh, shit. What if the chief dies? That's a good question. I'm amazed he slid down there that successfully. Oh boy. So his immortality has been taken away. Okay. That puts some pressure on him now. Okay. It's not going to, is it? I don't like how they're using this as an excuse to lower their animation. Like, I, I like the style of it, but it's just kind of lazy. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, that obviously didn't happen. That's true. Hmm, 
Okay, reflecting on his true life as well. Okay. He's having a moment. He's realizing... Mm-hmm. I don't like how they're really being cheap on this animation. Like, I know it's probably for a stylized effect, but it also feels like they're just doing it just for budget cuts or time cuts or something. Hmm. But he did see all that in the blog point. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> but how is he meant to defeat this? Yeah, how are you meant to fight this? And yeah, and he's aware of his mortality again. Why did you run in a straight line? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, half that time. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's just reiterating what we already know. Okay, more backstory. Left a time capsule, cool. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Having to be a burden just to stay alive. That's pretty rough. Hmm. Oh, shit. That looks bad. <laughs> okay, he has a bit of a different motivation. That's good. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Interesting. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting more interest in our guy now. Limited mobility. Yeah. Okay, he's working it out. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. How much stamina do you have? Yeah. Do you have the stamina to keep this up? Need to go collect more of them geoco uh, geoculuses. Pray to the statue of Geo. Get that stamina up, you know. So who's going to intervene? Oh, he hit level 10. Nice. What? Oh, shit. I forgot he spoke in such broken language. Um... He's going to get Farmer again, isn't he? He's going to get Farmer again, isn't he? Chef! Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go back to those. Ooh, a kitchen knife. He has a blade. I don't know if it's going to be... Because <gasps> he's a chef, he knows its internals. Can gain internal knowledge of all common beasts and ranks you. That's actually pretty clever. Okay. You've hooked me again, Cho. I mean, I think we all knew where the 
stomach would be, let's be real, but... But yeah, this show's got me. Hmm. Oh shit, they revived! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Alright! Take your mind off the harem, take your mind off the harem! <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got a cleaver as well. <laughs> Quit your moaning. He's weakened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, let's go. Big target like that, even you can get some swings in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Also, don't trolls have regenerative powers, typically? <laughs> That's something. Eventually, yeah. It's going to regenerate now, isn't it? Is it? Wind moving. Create pressure difference. Maybe. Okay. I think we've got a similar idea here. Okay. Attack from inside. All right, good attack. Yep. Right into his body. Oh, shit. Okay, not quite what I envisioned, but that works. Not quite what I imagined she'd do, but that's still impressive. <laughs> this guy's so creepy. <laughs> yeah, they are up to four now. Three to five. <laughs> hmm. Oh, shit. He gets one question. What does he ask? Why I was chosen. Someone we know. Who are you people? Hmm. Hmm. What, how, what will we do after the 10th step? What? Transpire Noah? Okay. I'm guessing, yeah, Apocalypse. Oh, shit. Is that a giant crocodile? Huh. 
Ha. They just straight up. Okay. Ha. Huh? Ha. Huh. That's the end game. I mean, that's the end boss. Mm hmm. Okay. Right. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. It's interesting to have an isekai where you can go back and forth. Not by choice, but you're forced that way. For sure. Calm yourself, boy. Calm yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, back in this world, she has a frail body, doesn't she? So... This world would be destroyed. But why do you hate this city? That's still my question. Okay. It looks like... We have at least 30 seconds at the end of this episode. At the end of this ED, so... Either post-credit or preview. Or both. Okay, but we got some answers. I'm I'm happier with our main character now. We needed this second episode to really start exploring him. I'm glad we did. This has definitely changed my opinion on the show. This was on the drop list. Now I'm actually kind of wanting to watch. Also, next time we go into the world, we get a new character, right? We get a new character to join us, which means we have a four-man party. So, new character as well to introduce. It's interesting that the final quest takes place... Like, in the real world. Wait, no, is that the final quest now, actually? No, thinking about it. He, didn't he say what will happen after we've cleared all ten? And then he's back in this world fighting something. I'll talk about this more in the in the discussion bit. But we've got something else here, I think. Subquest 2. Closing on Yotsia's reality. What are your thoughts on Yotsia, kun Hmm... They're talking about the other one. Mm hmm. Interesting. Interesting little end bit there. 
Are they implying that he's going to be the next one they bring into this world? Is that what they're implying with that little scene there? I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so first things first, before I talk about uh, some little things, I just want to go back to the skill things and just read what he now has as a chef. Um, but yeah, that definitely seems to be our main character's perk now, is that he gains XP at a much faster rate than any of our other characters, which allows him to cycle through jobs much quicker. Now the question is, will he ever get a job that's normal? I'm going to guess no. But if he is going to be changing every 10 levels, that would be interesting. That's a theory that he'll need to test now, is will he change at the next 10th level? And if it happens automatically, will he want to level up from 10 from Chef? He finally has a blade skill, right? So... Uh, rank up bonus. Former ability minus 100 divided by 2 is added to each value sequentially. Uh, okay. So... Hang on, let me pull up his stats from the first episode just so I can make some vague sense of this, just so I fully understand what's going on. Uh, episode 1, Unqualified Heroes. Where were his stats from the last time? That's their stats there. Yep, he's Farmer. Off he goes. I need his stats, please. Where were they? I forget where they were. Hmm. That's that. <laughs> I can't find the stats from last time now. I can't find them. Where are they? I, I, I can't find them now. Alright, I can't find his stats. If anyone finds his stats, let me know. But his health is now 140, his upper body is now 185, lower body 120, body muscle 120. Okay, sure, whatever. I can gain total knowledge of all common beasts and rank seal lower monsters. As well as methods of cooking them. So he could cook what was left of that troll, interestingly. But that means a troll is a rank C or lower monster. Or is a common beast. I'm interested they didn't play the whole, like, regenerative thing. Like, that's normally a common trope for trolls, right? That they can regenerate. Unless it's only particular ones that can have that ability. But I, I thought it was just a common trope for all trolls to have regeneration. Um... There's something else below that, though. He still has his farmer skill of gaining knowledge about edible plants. I feel like that's still important. Like, why would they continue to include that if there wasn't something important about that? I don't know. I just feel like... His strength's now 112.5%. That's good. Um, He has a kitchen knife now. His kitchen knife and chopper, so... Cooking tool, overall rank 2, iron and wood. Minus 20% sharpness when attacking anything but animals or plants. It regens in 3 days as opposed to 5. Then the chopper is exactly the same. 100% strength when attacking bone. Okay, and it's a rank 3 weapon. But he's slowly adding more and more things to his arsenal. Like, they're still effective against plants. I don't know, well, kitchen knife chopper, I guess they're meant to be for plants. But he can now grow his own food, cut it down, and then prepare his own food. Which I feel like in a world like this is not necessarily a bad skill. Like I said, if if they ever need currency of this world, this is a way to do it. But they are often time limited in what they can in what their objective is, so it'd be interesting to see a longer term objective than just you have how much did they have for the last quest? Was it one week or two weeks? I forget. Something like that. It was a certain limited time to in order to do it. 
but yeah, seeing our characters development our main characters development through this one as well as our side characters a little bit as well i i'm definitely more interested now i feel like the main character i'm still not 100 percent certain of his hatred for the current city he's in is it because he was forcibly moved here away from all his friends and he got bullied here and he has nothing but bad experiences at this city is that why he hates it in that way did something else happen whilst he was in this city like I feel like there's a backstory there that still needs divulging and explaining a little more. But I'm more open to the concept of him being that way. And let me just get the wording correctly of the question he just asked. I want the precise wording of what he said. After the tenth step of the quest, what will we do? Okay. Okay, so in theory, yeah, he's going to be coming back to his city after they've finished the the 10 quests. They'll then be brought back to the real world and have those skills, I guess, to fight in the real world to defend them against whatever this is. Or they're implying that is the 10th quest, but the dialogue implies that this is after the 10th quest. So. Not quite sure what to think of that honestly. Um, but yeah the fact that he would be defending his own city. That he has this reason for hating. We really start to question his uh, motivations for. Doing it in the first place right. He's not going to be so incentivized to continue with this and take this seriously and want to do this. But I'm going to guess by the time he gets there, he's, his opinion is probably going to change. Because it's likely that as he gets more and more people in this group, because he, he, they get one extra member per quest clear, right? We're now on to quest four, which means we get our fourth member. Because that was quest three to kill that troll. So now we get a fourth member. Possibly the other um, the other Yotsuya-kun, depending on how much they built him, or maybe it's going to be another girl. Because uh, judging by, well, the, the main visual includes one other girl, and it's uh, glasses, purple hair, chick. She's the only one that's present in the main visual, so I'm going to guess she's next. If she's next, though... That would imply... Hmm. I wonder how much of this uh, series we're going to cover in 12 episodes. Wait, are we only going to have one more uh, quest that takes us the rest of our time? Or are we going to still add more and more and more? I wonder how that's going to go. But this, this series has definitely captured me a bit more. Like, after the first episode, I was very skeptical. Because the characters seemed to have an irrational hate that really didn't have much explanation. But through the development of this episode, uh, although it's kind of uh, mediocre animation-wise, you can tell, I almost feel like the stylistic choices for like the visual level aspects were definitely done for the sake of saving budget. As interesting as a style it is, and it's kind of interesting to see and make work in this world, it makes a degree of sense as well as to what he would probably be experiencing, I still can't help but feel it was just done to save on animation and budget and all that, but, you know, to each their own. Um... But yeah, now all that's left is to figure out why he hates the city. I'm going to guess because he said he'll definitely come back for sure to all those kids that he left. So I'm guessing he was forcibly moved by parents, probably, to the city from where he was and where his friends were. Had bad experience in the city, was constantly, well, was bullied at first, made fun of, and just... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Reverted back to him just being a loner. Maybe that was how he was before until he had friends. And he's now he's going back and he's he's internalizing everything. He doesn't have anyone to talk to. And he's just slowly building up a hatred for the city as a whole. Because he thinks that's how... He thinks that's the problem. If it wasn't this city... If I didn't come to this city, none of this would have happened and I'd be happy. So he's blaming it all on the city where... In time, I think, over the course of the series, he might start to have a greater appreciation for it. Maybe. 
maybe that's hoping for an optimistic ending. I don't know if they want to have an optimistic ending in this show just yet. We'll see. But definitely more interested in this than I was the uh, the first episode. This is why the free episode rule exists, by the way, because if I only was judging on first episodes, I would have dropped last week. And especially now that it's such a busy day today, I I want to drop shows. Um, I'm glad this episode made me change my mind and wants me to continue on with it. We'll see if episode three changes my mind back again. But for now, we're continuing this one, and I'm happy to continue this one, even if it means that this is a goddamn long day of anime recording. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one as per usual. Leave a like if you did. Leave your comments on how you feel about our main character's development now that we've actually... Um, now that we've actually had a bit more development of our main character and he's getting a bit more relatable and likable to an extent. To an extent, not fully yet, but there's something there that we can explore further on as the show goes on, which is always important, right? Um, so leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the full 2020 light you can find on my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.